हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन टू एम एस बी टी इज ई कंटेंट एट यूर डोर स्टेप माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर बी आर अंबाडे एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कोर्स एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज वेयर वी हैव टू फुलफिल unit outcome 4l 4m and 4n today we have to study about environmental pollution topic number 4 and the sub topic is e waste we satisfy course outcome d which is apply techniques to reduce environmental pollution today's agenda points are e waste generation of e waste composition of e waste impacts of e waste and management techniques of e waste and the content according to curriculum is municipal solid waste biomedical waste e waste sources generation characteristics effects and methods to manage it the learning objectives are the unit outcomes are 4l state characteristics of e waste 4m state the impacts of e waste for n describe incineration rdf and sanitary land filling concept map of solid waste is the solid waste has three parts three types as per your curriculum first is municipal solid waste second is biomedical waste and third is e waste let's have a look on these pictures now you understand that it is nothing but e waste now how e waste is defined the e waste is defined as the waste from electronic and electrical appliances which have reached their end of life period are called as e waste or electronic waste the examples of e waste are refrigerator washing machine television scanners printers computers cables mobiles etc then the sources of e waste e waste are generated from following sources households shops industries electrical or electronic repairing center institutions laboratories it centers computer institutes etc now let us see how the e waste are generated according to un's global monitor india ranked fifth in the world in generating the e waste india generating about 1.81 million tons e waste and the rate of generation of e waste increases 10% every year then we have to study about composition of e waste the composition of e waste includes large household appliances it is 42% IT communications technology appliances it is 
कंज्यूमर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स 14 परसेंट एंड अदर आर 10 परसेंट Now we have to study impacts of e-waste. The e-waste impacts on public health as well as on environment. So first we have to study the impacts of e-waste on public health. See the impacts of e-waste on public health. It is more dangerous than municipal solid waste and biomedical waste. The first impact on public health is DNA damage, lung cancer, damage to heart, lungs and spleen, chronic damage to brain, asthmatic bronchitis, vision failure and ulcer, breathing difficulties, birth defects, hormonal changes, damage immune system etc. Then the impacts of e-waste on environment, groundwater pollution due to dumping of e-waste on the ground, in acidification of soil, soil pollution, then air pollution. So these are the environmental impacts of e-waste. Now how the e-waste is managed, uh, there is a separate uh, process or method for the management of e-waste and these process and methods have so many aspects. So let us have a look at these aspects. First, collection of e-waste. E-waste are collected. The next step is Sorting of e-waste. Sorting means segregation of e-waste. Then third is processing of e-waste. E-waste are processed. Then repairing of e-waste. The repairable e-waste are repaired. Then recycling of the e-waste. The plastic, metal. So these are recycling parts fraction of the e-waste, it may be sent to the recycling industry, then dismantling of e-waste. After dismantling, there is a component recovery of e-waste. The component of e-waste which are recoverable, they are recovered after dismantling of the e-waste and then the remaining residual e-waste is disposed in the land as secured landfilling. So this is the flow chart of the e-waste management. So dear students, what we learn today? Today we learn about e-waste and its sources, then generation of e-waste, then composition of e-waste, then methods of e-waste management, now let us have a quiz. These are the references which are used for the outcome of these PPTs. Thank you all. Have a nice day. We will again meet in the next MSBT e-content. Till then, happy learning. Thank you very much.